Deliberations are resuming this morning in the murder trial of a former police officer who shot and killed an unarmed man in South Carolina. The jury getting back to work after telling the judge they've been unable to reach a unanimous decision. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is in the courthouse. Gabe, good morning. Tamara, good morning. The jury asked the judge to go home for the weekend after a dramatic day in court on Friday. In an extremely rare development, we're actually seeing some of the inner workings of a jury before the trial is over. A lone juror sending a note to the judge saying that he could not, in good conscience, convict Michael Slager. This morning, the family of Walter Scott is hoping that a holdout juror might change his mind. We do believe within our heart that we will see justice for my brother. While former North Charleston police officer Michael Slager, charged with murder in Scott's death, also waits. Well, we'll just wait till Monday, see what happens Monday. Jurors going home for the weekend after a dramatic day in court where the panel of 11 white people and one black man said it was hopelessly deadlocked as it considered murder, manslaughter, or an acquittal. A single juror sending this note to the judge. I still cannot without a reasonable doubt, convict the defendant. At the same time, my heart does not want to have to tell the Scott family that the man that killed their son, brother, and father is innocent. But with the choices, I cannot and will not change my mind. In a follow-up note, the four-person clearly seemed frustrated. If that juror needs to leave. He is having issues. The 11 to 1 deadlock nearly led to a mistrial, but the judge told the jury to keep trying. It's not over. We kept hearing it's over. It's over. It's not over. During the month long trial, Slager told the jury he was in total fear for his life and shot Scott in self defense after Scott ran from his car and grabbed the officer's stun gun during a struggle. I fired until the threat was stopped, like I'm trying to do. Previous jury questions seemed to indicate that the jury was heavily considering a manslaughter conviction, not murder. It's not clear how long the jury will continue to deliberate this morning. If they're still deadlocked, the judge could declare a mistrial. Matt and Tamron. All right, Gabe, thank you very much. We Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.